Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. It is early. It's early. We woke up at uh, 6.50 and we had to get up so early today because we are going to one of Mal's doctor's appointments. How many weeks ago was it? Two. Two? Two weeks ago, um, Mal went to the dermatologist to look at the little bump on her head. She had a feeling it was a cyst. The dermatologist was like, that's a cyst. But referred Mal to a ENT, which might seem like a strange choice, but it's an ENT who specializes in plastic surgery also. And we're not exactly sure why he did that, but we guess that it's because, like, for one, it, it would be on her face, but then also... There's like sinuses and stuff up here, so we think that maybe it's a delicate situation, and we don't know. But we're going to the ENT this morning, um, see what he wants to do. We're going to find out their options, because like, you can remove the cyst, like, uh, with surgery, but there might be al alternative things that we can do that might be less invasive, so we, we mostly want to know what our options are. Um, even if surgery seems like the best choice, I don't know that they would be doing that in office today. But maybe, I don't know, the world is full of surprises. But it's nice and early, so after we do that, um, we'll probably uh, get a bite to eat. Are you excited? No. Oh. So we asked about what our options were, and he basically said there are no options. <laughs> yeah, like, he's like, this is it. Okay, so um, Mal will have to get the the cyst removed surgically, and that'll happen on the 28th. So we have three weeks. Yeah. So yeah. now f f breakfast? Breakfast. Okay, because we're up like real early. Is yeah, it even nine yet? Almost nine. Okay, let's grab some to eat. That looks good. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited got, about it. They have really good uh, omelets here. And you get fruit? Mm-hmm. Mine is exciting too. A little more traditional. So after lunch, we made a very important stop at the store, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then we came home and got back to work. Um, among the things that we were working on today was actually more sunshine. We recorded a little bit more. Uh, it's going good. Uh, it went better today than it did yesterday. Mao is starting to get in the swing of things, um, getting a little more used to the controls, and then things are coming back to me. I'm also relearning that this game is actually, in some places, ridiculously hard. Ridiculously hard. Um, case in point, going to those areas where they normally take the flood away, but going back with the flood and them giving you one minute to collect the eight red coins. Whew, uh, I must have like mentally blocked that out, um, cause I don't really recall that, but yeah, it's hard. It's, um, it's really hard, but we'll get through it. We're, we're, we're getting through it. The other thing is that Mao actually gets a little motion sick from the game, which is not ideal. So we can do like a single session, which for us is like three episodes. Um, and then that's basically it. Like, I, I don't think Mao could do two sessions in one day of Mario Sunshine, because moving the camera around and all the acrobatic and stuff seems to make her sick. Um, which is interesting because it didn't make her sick for 64, but to be fair, Sunshine looks and feels different, so that must be it. The other thing I wanted to do today that I started to do but haven't completely finished is testing um, the idea of doing a first 20 stream. I'm hoping that I can finish the testing and do a stream tomorrow. I don't know, but that would be ideal. And um, the, the only downside about that is that like, we've got lights set up for a breakfast stream and Link's Awakening, but in order to do Morning Mario or a first 20 stream, the lights have to be moved from here over to there. And there's not really a good way around that other than having like another set of lights. And I don't want to have another set of lights. It just sucks that I have to move it. And if this becomes like a very regular thing, I'd be moving this stuff around like multiple times a week. Again, this is not a big deal, but eventually, in the future, I can see myself getting frustrated with that. But nonetheless, progress. So let me tell you about the uh, store we went to. Um, we've been looking to get a 
headboard for our bedroom, well, I guess ever since we moved in. Um, our old bed had a headboard. We didn't realize how important that was until we got this new bed. And we love the bed, the bed's great. Still wonderful, highly recommend purple. Hashtag not sponsored. But the problem is it doesn't have a headboard and um, you know, usually before bed for at least, at least usually like 15 or 20 minutes, we'll sit up and we'll read or check, you know, websites or whatever. And uh, you can't really do that. <laughs> because if you sit up against the wall, then over time you're gonna make the wall really dirty. So instead, I've, I've had to get used to like laying on my stomach with my arms up here, you know, folded under me, and then like your arms starts to fall asleep. So we know that we need a headboard and we've been looking and um, you know, we don't need anything like super, super nice. So the other day, uh, Lindsay actually pointed out to us that Aldi, of all places, which is most commonly associated with like a grocery store because they mostly, mostly sell food, um, had a very, very cheap headboard available. And what it is, is it's actually headboard tiles. So you, you buy this pack of tiles and then you just mount them on your wall. It is not fancy. It is very cheap. They were $40 and you get eight. And uh, we bought them because we were like, you know what? Let's do it. This is not gonna be our, our permanent home. This is not where we're gonna live for the rest of our lives. And for now, to have something that we felt like, you know, we could sit up in bed and actually feel like we have a headboard, for $40, it's hard to beat. Now, the one downside about this thing is that it's not for our size bed. You can see that Sagan is advertising it for us. Um, this is actually for a smaller bed. This is for like a queen or a full, but whatever. <laughs> If we wanted to, we could buy another pack of them. It would still be wildly less expensive than buying a real headboard. But um, the only thing that we lose out on is like a few inches on the side, so like it may not even matter. So we got these. We got um, Velcro adhesive to get them on the wall, and we're going to put them up on the wall and see how it is. Now, it's not like I can just recommend these. We've obviously never used them. And I understand going into this that they are <laughs> super cheap. But I'm excited at the prospect of having a headboard at all. And especially if, if we're okay with doing something real cheap, that we then go for like super cheap. And 40 bucks for a headboard, it's pretty cheap. So these are, uh, these are the things that you get. You get eight of these and it's $40. So each of these are essentially five bucks. They have, uh, they have adhesive on the back. But we also bought, what are they called? Command strips. Command strips, just in case we didn't trust them. Because Mel wasn't sure if well, we could trust them. I, we can probably trust them, I just didn't want to take adhesive off the wall at a rental place. That's true. So the 3M ones will come off cleanly yes. when we're done with this. So, um, there's, again, there's eight of these. So like, four will actually mostly cover the bed. Yeah. It's just we're going to be short like a few inches and who cares. This is the other reason we wanted a headboard is because the wall is really gross already. Yeah, it's uh, well this the entire house man has terrible issues and when we moved in things were things were dirtier than they are now but like there was some stuff we still couldn't like adequately clean because we started to clean it and like the paint just came off because it's painted with the cheapest paint in the world. I have lots of strong opinions about the construction and building of this home. Anyway, um, I guess we're gonna put these on the wall. So that looks pretty centered. Did I do good? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, I think it looks pretty good. So the question is, uh huh. Um, when these are stacked, you know, too high. Or is that good? That's like oh, careful! They're gonna fall. I'm being. I'm, being, I'm trying to be careful. Ow. So if you're in bed, like this will yeah, yeah. this will work. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to at least show what we were doing. Um, on the backs of these things is Velcro, and what's already attached to it is the the hook part of the Velcro, and then what came with it are these, which is the 
loop. Like the fuzzy part of the Velcro. But we bought command hooks because command hooks have two sides and both sides are the hook part. So the hook part, which is either side of these, connect to this, which is good. So we got four on each and this was a 12 pack, but it's pairs, so it's actually 24. So we can put these on here and then we take them off and we put them right on the wall. And it's, you know, it will hopefully work. Well, there it is. And you might be saying, weren't there eight? And the answer to that is, yeah. <laughs> but um, we're bad at math and we didn't buy enough of these command hooks. So we'll have to buy another pack in order to get the other two on the wall. But for now, they're up there. What do you think, Mel? Let me stand back. It's not the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And again, $40. Any yeah. Anytime I'm upset with it, I'll tell myself $40. We'll get the other two put up like in the very near future. And I don't know how these are gonna work, how they're gonna stand up. And uh, also, I'm not entirely sure about this from like, I don't know, a weight distribution perspective of like, if I'm, lean, if I'm leaned up against it, if I move in the wrong way, will it take it off the wall? I don't know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, if this works, it's a real cheap alternative between the the headboard tiles and the command hooks we bought and the command hooks we need, we will have spent fifty bucks. Fifty dollar headboard? Yeah. Yeah. Sign me up. It'll be nice to uh, to try it out, and in a few days I'll I'll give a. A review of, of how it is because um, we just need something that's not the wall and this is objectively something that's not the wall anyway that is it for today thank you so much for watching and as always let's meet back tomorrow shall we